Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mari, also known as Soul Style Beauty. And today I have on the same sweater um, as in my previous video. I know I'm just trying to get the videos out. So, um, yeah, so today I want to talk about boundaries within your relationship. So, um, I wanted to talk about this topic one because a lot of people ask me to because it's something that is hard for everybody. Um, but I really want to talk about boundaries. Um, because I feel like it's so important, especially when you're in a, uh, a relationship trying to uphold standards to um, please God at the end of the day. Um, so that is what me and Jose are doing. And everybody knows, I, or I hope you know, like I live by myself, I don't live with anyone. Well, yes, like Jose and I can be here chilling in the crib, Netflix and stuff, but we don't choose to do that. Um, we made it a duty just because like before we had met each other we were both like you know in like sexual relationships at the end of the day and it's like do we really want to go down that road um of destruction do we really want to do that so we know we knew that was like a boundary that we had to put into place just because that's what our we know our weakness in that area and it's just like we don't have any accountability um, in the house or here clearly because no one lives with me and that's something that I feel like number one um, You and your partner have to agree on when it comes to boundaries It's like do you know if this person is trying to like flee from unrighteousness because that's what the word says like are we really both trying to uphold these standards if so then Therefore we can put certain boundaries in place, but like I said it needs to be an a, a agreement or something a value that both of you uphold just so when you do mention that it's not like yo are you serious babe like no we can't do this nobody and you know where somebody's heart posture is and you're like you know what boy bye don't want you anyway so yeah like you you first have to be in agreement um, secondly like you have to acknowledge your weaknesses at the end of the day like we knew me and jose um, knew our weaknesses like with certain things and we know that we cannot plan dates here or plan to you know be in the house alone I don't have him over we don't plan to go over each other's house and like people be like a lot of people like when they hear that they're like oh my gosh like are you guys serious but it's like that's what we have to do so yes for the most part if it's like winter or fall cold outside like we have to end up spending money like <laughs> um on our dates only because that is like i said our standard i also want to say it is a supernatural thing i know that it says in the word that it is god that helps you to you know act according to his will um so it's something that i feel like if it is the will of God, like he'll grace you for it. And not to say that it negates temptation at the end of the day, because it, we're human, it's still that temptation. My man is fine. <laughs> so yes, at the end of the day, it's like, oh my gosh, yes. But it's like, at the, like if we, it's either, it's not like we're on a tightrope, like how close can we, play with you know the fire it's also a, a gift from god that we're able to like uphold the same values just because you can tell that god is in it like when you guys are both you know willing to put up those standards and not only put up those standards but you're graced through it um so yeah like i just pray that number one like you if you feel like you know you're in a situation right now where you want to obey God and you're in a relationship with someone, like make sure they uphold the same values. Please do not be unequally yoked and be with someone who is not willing to uphold the same values because it's like, what are we really doing here if you're not trying to do that? Um, secondly, like I said, like just be in agreement with like what your weakness is and you can discuss that with whoever you're with like what are some things that you feel like would really tempt you like at the end of the day because i don't want to do that with you i don't want to 
come close to the fire, as I said before, just so um, it brings you down and both of us down a path of destruction. And then, like I said, we're not obeying um, God or pleasing God with our actions. So, like I said, discuss it with your partner just to see like what your weaknesses are, what his weaknesses are. Um, and lastly, like I said, it is supernatural. Like if you're not aligned with the spirit, um, once again, like temptation is not, it doesn't negate temptation, but like I said, you'll have more of a biblical perspective, especially if you're like in your word constantly because the devil will try it. Um, but like I said, it is something that I feel like God has graced us with um to put those boundaries and to keep those boundaries and everything like that so i hope that this video will help you guys i pray um that it does help somebody out there and i will see you in my next video bye guys